From March the 1st, Tabalian Ming will not able to send its link in Kui Live, streaming, Kui Short Videos and Details page. Jingdong Lian Ming will not able to send goods links in Kui Live streaming. It is understood that Kui completed its e-commerce GMV of $107.712 billion, which more than the original goal of $102.96 billion and higher than external expectations. Bloomage Biotech and Biology Institute of Shandong Academy of Sciences officially signed a strategic cooperation agreement that the two sides will cooperate to build a joint innovation center for efficacy evaluation around the biological active ingredients, functional skin care products, functional food safety and efficacy evaluation of basic research and applied research. The strategic cooperation between the two parties will take the lead in exploring the solution of efficacy evaluation in the field of bioactives through the mode of industry university research, co-innovation. Bloomage Biotech is the world's largest hyaluronic acid manufacturer and sales company. According to the Data Forward Institute, Bloomage Biotech accounted for 43% of the sales in the global market of hyaluronic acid raw materials in 2020. South Korea's exports to China in 2021 was $213.6 billion, an increase of more than 20% year-on-year, which made a record high. Among them, skincare products ranked first in terms of export, at $3.74 billion, up 19.4% year-on-year. Although Korean products are recognized by Chinese consumers for their excellent quality and simple and competent design, its market positioning is vague, and the brand influence is insufficient. While ensuring products' novelty and diversification, it is necessary to make full use of digital platforms and content to create export momentum. Recently, 36 beauty groups from around the world, including Amor Pacific and Unilever, joined the EcoBody Score Consortium, an organization involving and established by global cosmetics and personal care companies and professional associations to develop a scoring system to assess and measure the environmental impact of cosmetics. Through the scoring system and database developed by the consortium, customers can learn detailed information about the environmental impact of products to purchase products they are satisfied with. Schwarzkopf's parent company, Hinkle, reported its total sales of $22.767 billion for the full year 2021, up 4.2% year-on-year. Its operating profit reached $2.511 billion, up 9.6% year-on-year. In the first quarter, China was a standout performer, achieving double-digit sales growth in the cosmetics and beauty products sectors. French high-end eco-friendly beauty brand Le Bouch Rouge closed a $11.287 million funding round. The brand previously raised $2,821,800 in September 2020. Le Bouch Rouge has now entered China through cross-border e-commerce channels and may open its first standalone store in China in the coming year. GlaxoSmithKline announced it would form an independent consumer healthcare company to be named Halion, a joint venture between GlaxoSmithKline, 68%, and Pfizer, 32%. Halion, which includes toothpaste brands such as Sensodyne, is expected to complete its business separation and operate as an independent company by mid-2022. In 2021, Sensodyne ranked sixth in China in terms of retail sales of toothpaste across the internet. According to a marketer, its total e-commerce sales in Southeast Asia will reach $89.67 billion in 2022, up 20.6%, 20 which is the highest in the world. By 2023, the sales in this region will surpass $100 billion. A marketer's data also shows that e-commerce sales growth will decline across most of Southeast Asia in 2023 but it will maintain a 14% growth rate. In addition, Umkitter expects Latin America will lead the world with 16.1% e-commerce growth in 2023.